singles. Welcome to Shareably Accurate. So this is your love reading for the month of July. We'll just get started. It's for anyone Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, personally, I like to watch my Moon videos the best just because um, moons relate to your emotions and when it comes to love, you know, we're feeling all the time. Other people feel that way about the Venus because um, Venus is about love, but you can watch all of them. You can just watch one of them. You can watch none of them. Up to you. Okay, so Leo Singles. How do you see yourself in the month of July? Okay, so this is some good news. Um, you see yourself finding your soulmate. Awesome. So maybe you already know who they are. Maybe it's somebody you're casually dating, you haven't made it official, but um, you're putting out those positive affirmations. You will be with your soulmate this month, so good for you. Um, and it's like, you don't have to really do much for this to happen. Like, you're just trusting it's going to happen, so that's awesome. That's really, really good. It's like, you're not necessarily going out of your way to um, communicate. You're not doing, like, any labor, any work to draw this in. It's just there for you. So let's hope that ends up to be true at the end of the month. But if you keep with that attitude, absolutely it could be. Every thought we have, every belief we have goes out into the universe and um, comes back to us. So, hey, how are others seeing you this month? Now, this is the interesting thing. Um, now, what I'm picking up here is that a lot of you who are single Leos, it's because maybe you've recently gone through a breakup. You're a breakup. You recently broke up. I'm super hot. Sorry. Um, so anyway, this is anyway. So you you go through this breakup, right? And so you're like, oh, well, we're soulmates. It's just gonna end up, you know, that we're together because we're meant to be. My partner is gonna come back to me. They're gonna realize like that they're being stupid, that they really love me, that we're made for each other. We're gonna get back together. Um, but then it was like you're not really communicating and you're not really putting the work in. So how the fudge do you think that's going to happen? Right? Um, because the way that the other people are seeing you is like sad, you know, kind of bummed out. Um, maybe not feeling particularly stable and they see you just like waiting it out for them to change their mind. Okay. They're not having sex with you anymore. They're trying to, just wait as well, okay? But they see you really just like kind of waiting and maybe shifting your perspective a little bit, but not really communicating that. They think you're just like sad and just waiting for them to come back, okay? Now, will they come back? Let's find out actually. Let's use a pendulum here. Um, for the majority of the Leos watching this video, the single Leos, will their partner come back in the month of July? And I'm getting a solid maybe, and I think that's because for some of you, yes, but for the majority of you, no. No, they're not. Not if you don't talk to them. Not if you don't put the work in, but the work before the speaking. Take the actions before you go talking to them, okay? So whatever it was, whatever it was that they needed that they felt like they weren't getting in the relationship for the reason that you guys broke up or whatever, um, and I'm not saying it's your fault, okay? But if it was your fault, like... Let's say that they didn't feel valued or they didn't feel loved. Figure out how you can make them feel valued or loved. Do that and then tell them, look what I did. But don't tell them, look what I'm going to do first, okay? Because then they're not coming back. They're just not. And if you just sit there and wait for them to come back, I don't think that's going to happen either. Okay, but for those of you who didn't just go, because I think this is, um, we're getting separate messages here. So for those of you who didn't just recently break up and you're waiting for your person to come back, and um, we are just waiting to meet that soulmate this month, what do we have as far as how others are seeing you? Um, so this is cute. So for those of you that this is the case, okay, that you didn't recently um, go through this breakup and you're just waiting for your soulmate to come back to you, okay? Everybody else. Um, others are going to see you as um, someone that they would cherish, they would hold close to their heart. Someone um, who won't stay single for long, probably because they're going after you. Now, they're shy to speak to you. They're shy to engage with you. But once they catch you, they will not walk away. This is a relationship that they would want to stay in, um, that they'll do all that they can to stay in, okay? So, hey! Positive note there. Um, what should you be avoiding this month in regards to love?
Okay, so um, before I get to that message, this one jumped out of the deck. The Magician. So this card is all about Law of Attraction, okay? It's yellow, so it's like happiness, okay? But then he's got the um, infinity symbol above his head, meaning there are infinite possibilities coming down through that crown chakra, right? So we've got one hand up um, to God, Allah, Spirit Guides, Angels, Universe, whatever it is that you believe in, and then one to the ground. So he's like asking, like, can you please send me this blessing down here on Earth, Okay. So that's what he's doing with his hands here. Now, he can attract money, um, good communication, truth or honesty, adventure. He can attract love, deep love. He can attract all of these things. So put your wishes out there. Keep your thoughts positive for what you do want. Don't focus on the things that you don't want. So if you are one of those who is kind of focused on um, your sadness, absolutely don't do that. No. Nope. Be communicating with spirit about what it is that you desire. Okay. So... That just jumped out of there. But what should you be avoiding this month in regards to love? And it says, um, you should avoid not talking about things um, or not expressing your feelings. Um, because this month is just like a really big month for communication. And we might, when we're not, when we're not sure how we're feeling about something, we might just decide not to communicate at all. You know, maybe you start talking to somebody and then you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm really into them. So you ghost them for a few days and then you come back to that. That's not the way to handle things this month, okay? They're saying, what are we avoiding? We're avoiding um, poor communication, really. We really have to do that this month. Um, you can, like, absolutely do not lie and make sure that you communicate. When somebody is getting... Um, you know, they're expressing their interest in you or something like that, um, you're going to want to respond right away. If you are considering, um, you know, meeting somebody online, you're going to not want to wait for them to reach out to you first. You're going to want to send them that first message, okay? Um, it's saying in order to feel good emotionally in regards to love and what we're attracting this month for single Leos, you're going to have to take some action here and you have to be excited about this action. We're co-creating um, because what it's doing is bringing us new opportunities and um, the kind of person that we would actually move in with, that we would co cohabitate with. So regardless of whether you're comfortable living with somebody before you're married or not, like that's going to be the end result. So if you're trying to draw that in, it's absolutely possible within the month of July. Okay, so um, what can you do this month in order to increase, grow, um, attract new love. Okay. So it's like, open your eyes to what people are actually saying. All right. <laughs> it's see things as they actually are. Now, that would be kind of a warning for us saying that we might put on rose colored glasses when we meet somebody where it's like, I just want to be in love. You know, you're seven out of the 10 things I want. Good enough. I'm just going to totally um, forget about the fact that, you know, this one thing is an automatic disqualifier and um, try to accept it. But that's not who you are and what you want. So you're like, don't, don't be blind. Okay, you have to be very clear and honest with yourself as well as um, anybody that's potentially coming into your life as to what it is that you're looking for. If you don't go within and do that, you're going to end up really hurt. Okay, and so they're like, and it would be the kind of relationship hurt that you'd stay in for a while. So maybe some of you are finding yourself like you just want to be in a relationship so much that you're settling this month. Um, whereas if you didn't do that, if you were just really honest and direct about what it is that you want, you might say no to this guy or this girl because you think like, oh, well, I don't meet new people that often. So let's just try it and see where it goes. You know, you're a lot of good things. I mean, I hate this one thing about you, but you're a lot of good things. So you just try it. You give it a go. You try to be open-minded. But because you're in that relationship, the person you're going to meet the very next week shows up and you don't see them. You're blind at that because you're wasting your time with this guy who's not even qualified to be with you. He's not on your list of things that you want. So that's something to consider. Okay? So we've got to take our blindfold off, see things as they are. 
They're like, um, for those of you who are feeling hopeless about love, absolutely shift that around. Um, if you're feeling pessimistic, you will attract in the that result. Like if you're like, oh, I never meet cute guys. I never meet people who are successful. I never meet people who want the same things as me. Well, that's your reality and you created it. I hate to be harsh, but that's, that's what's happening right now. And I mean, they say that that's always happening, right? But some months are stronger than others in regards to our own personal power in the law of attraction. And this is one of them. So just be very, very cautious, okay? Now, what is working for you this month in regards to love? Okay, cool. So they're like, it should come relatively easy. Minimal work, maximum reward, right? And you don't have to look very far to find it. You don't have to like start going different places like outside of your routine. You know, part of your routine is um, going to get a coffee every Thursday morning or something like that. Um, one Thursday morning, your person, your soulmate might re be right there, you know, right behind, right in front of you buying the coffee for the the person behind them, something like that. It could be anything. Um, so they're like, it's actually not something that you have to put a ton of effort into so long as you know exactly what it is that you want. And if you continue to think about the things that you want and you don't give up on manifesting that, then you will have no reason to be a bitch and complain about it later, okay? They're like, take this action, please, please, please. If you do not take this action, then you shall not receive the rewards. Basically, that's what your angels are saying. And I know it's kind of annoying because it's on the one hand saying, you know, look, you have all of this personnel power and this is all um, because of what you're doing. And then they're like, wait, you actually don't have to do anything. But that's not what I'm saying. All that you have to do is pretty mental, right? Believe that this person is coming. Um, believe that you deserve to have all the things that you want in a partner. And then that partner will just show up, right? But if you don't actually truly believe it and feel it in your heart, then it won't come, right? And so here's the thing that I notice a lot of people doing with Law of Attraction and how it gets all jacked up is, um, you know, people will say, well, every single day I wake up and I make affirmations saying, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, and I haven't woken up yet and bet a millionaire. <laughs> okay, well, here's the thing, that when you're saying that, because it's not your actual truth, because it's not your reality, your subconscious doesn't believe it, right? I don't actually believe that I'm going to wake up um, with a million dollars in my bank account by default. I don't actually believe it, right? A big part of me, deep down, even though I want to believe it, doesn't. And so the way to shift that language in order to make it real and true, because it has to be a truth, is um, to say I am in the process of attracting a million dollars. Does that make sense? So we can do the same thing um, when we're trying to bring in relationships. All right. So um, what is not necessarily working for us in regards to love in the month of July? Leo singles. Um, this whole situation with exes. So if an ex comes back and you're, or like if you're just waiting for an ex to come back, it's probably not going to happen. Um, if you want them to come back, you're going to have to go chase them. And you're going to have to go chase them um, with really good direct communication and honesty and tell them. Um, now, for some of you, the reason why you broke up is because they, um, whether it's true or not, they said that maybe you're being a little bit selfish. It could have been over money issues, things like that. Um, or maybe you desired too much alone time in their eyes. Whether it was true or not, you just have to apologize and then um, go let them know how things will be different in the future. But it can't be a lie. It actually has to be different in order to keep them if you are able to get them back. Okay? Now, what are the lessons that we are overcoming in the month of July in regards to love? Release. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. So... For those of you um, who have, ooh, I don't, did you see that? That was kind of weird. Um, so for those of you who are in, uh, who have just left relationships, okay, we've got to kind of release any negative feelings about that. But then for the rest of you, we need to release any doubts that um, we have about our own self-worth or what we deserve or that a person is coming into our life because it's very, very possible this month. Um, what is the overall outcome for single Leos in the month of July for love? Okay. 
Okay, so it's kind of a little story here. They're saying, um, like, as long as you keep your eyes open, there should be no lies or deception, anything like that. Now, some of you um, maybe aren't investing in finding a forever person, right? We might be investing in the wrong people because we're feeling emotionally imbalanced. Um, maybe we're not, maybe we're just kind of looking like what's in front of us, okay? Um, which would make us inclined to go back to people um, that we know are not right for us, okay? Um, a lot of us are not kind of putting that law of attraction manifestation work in. And so, you know, if we're not doing that, if we're not putting positive affirmations and beliefs out that this is our month, then we will be hurt and disappointed that it ends up not being. They're like, if you're not doing the work, this is going to be what happens. But if you do do the work, you will not be alone. You will not be isolated. But they're saying you have to do the work. Um, what else do we have in regards to the overall outcome? They say deep emotional fulfillment. Whoa. Sorry. Sorry. Um, you know, whatever you want. Whatever it is that you're thinking about. That's what you're going to get. So, you know, keep it positive. That's really the only action that you have to take. Um, it'll be drama-free so long as you do that. And like I said, that emotional fulfillment, it's just that many of you are not um, making your prayers, making your wishes. So good luck with that. Um, I would recommend maybe writing a list of all the things that you want in a partner every day, reviewing it. Um, when you brush your teeth or something like that, you're going to brush your teeth at least twice a day. So you'll read your list twice a day. Um, you can add to it. And, um, then, you know, when you meet this person, you can look back at that list and see how much of it they fit. So love and light. Um, many blessings. I'm super excited for you to attract in that person. And this could be very well be your month. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.